Time now for Eyewitness News Call 12 for Action. Well, for the first time in history, student loan debt is higher than the nation's credit card debt. And as recent grads prepare to start paying off those loans, there are some important tips that they should keep in mind. Problem solver Susan Hogan has more on that. Navigating student loans can be complicated, especially for soon-to-be college freshmen and their parents. Eric Bell of the personal finance website called YoBucko.com says one major rule applies to both government or private loans, and that's reading the fine print. You need to understand the terms of those loans. You need to understand the grace periods, how long it takes between the time you graduate and until you actually have to start repaying that debt. And so don't forget that those loans do accumulate interest and those are loans. You have an obligation to repay those. Think ahead to life after graduation. Will salaries in your chosen field put you on track to pay what you are borrowed? Quickly on that note, don't borrow more than you think you'll be able to pay off. This can lead to establishing bad credit, which doesn't suit well for a promising financial future. Create a budget that includes those loan payments for those who have just graduated. This is an important tip that could pay off later, especially when it comes to building your credit. Taking out student loans, it seems like it's a bad thing, but it does help you build a strong credit history. If you pay those loans back on time, you can get lower interest rates in the future by building a strong credit history. If you are having troubles trying to pay off your student loan, never feel like you can't call your lender to ask for some assistance. It is certainly better than defaulting on a student loan that can derail your financial future. If you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday. Thursday from 11 until 1, hotline 228-1850. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.